Hello there, and welcome to a super sick security presentation. So uh, what I'm going to show you today is a way to bypass um, network restrictions that may be set in place when you're um, sitting on a network that doesn't let you access the internet and makes you pay for it. So um, currently I'm sitting on a network that restricts my bandwidth usage uh, based on a web based login and then once I log in it binds my um, my MAC address to an IP through DHCP obviously and that gets translated through ARP and um, once I have an established IP address with a verified login session then I do have internet access so one thing that we could do to bypass this of course it's going to um, be detrimental to anybody already on the network and actually paying for service so I do not recommend this from an ethical perspective but um, if you um, if you wanted to bypass this mechanism all you'd have to do is spoof somebody's Mac that's already on the network that has an established session then you can just ask the DHCP server for an IP address and since the release won't be up you'll be getting their IP so uh, to start off here I'm just gonna do um, an nmap scan and we're gonna make that verbose going to make that um, a ping and map scan and then we're going to enter a network range so um, as a proof of concept basically I don't know it's kind of a proof of concept it's a concept program um, I've written I've written something in Java that will parse through uh, an output of a verbose um, nmap ping scan grab all of the Macs that are um, responded to uh, through our ping requests and it will parse through those and let me choose which ones I want to spoof so um, to start off uh, we'll output this into output demo.txt then we're gonna let this run it shouldn't take too much time okay now it's done and I'm just going to cat out what we just did. Okay, so as you can see, um, all of our Macs and systems on the network have responded to our ping scan. And every time um, a ping response is made, um, Nmap outputs a nice little Mac address for us. So I'm just going to run my program that I've written here. Scroll down any slower. Then um, I'm just going to do, and we're just going to use output. So this takes um, our text file in as a parameter, and then apparently I can't type, and parses through it, and you'll see what happens. Okay, so it's read through it. It basically reads um, all the MAC addresses into an array, and then it lets me choose from that. So say I want to use this MAC. So right now, we spoofed it, bringing down our interface, bringing it up, and now it's grabbing an IP address from the DHCP server. So we'll just give that a second. All right. So um, basically, we copied that person's MAC address. And basically my output at the end is try pinging Facebook. So um, as you can see, we should get some ping responses. Maybe not. And if that is the case, then we can just run our little program again. Okay. So. I'm just going to show you real quick. We randomize our Mac. I'm just going to grab an IP. Show you what happens. Destination net prohibited. So basically our gateway isn't letting us access the internet at this point in time. So I'm just going to run my little program again. No, nope, because that one didn't work. Yes. So 
Sweet. I responded a lot faster. Quit. Clear. Okay. So that person doesn't have an established session. Again, we're going to do this again. No, no. Yes. Clear this out. Okay. Ah, uh, yes, okay. We have an IP and then we're gonna ping Facebook. And then our ping responses are coming back nicely. So as you can see, it took a little bit of time. We had to spoof three Macs, but I got internet access on this network. So um, that's all for today. And if you guys would like to have the source code for that program I wrote, I'm going to have it in the notes and I'm going to make this post on supersick.ca. So I'll see you guys later.